I'm Ted with Ted Brakes and we're here with Boyd Anthony, a customer of mine. He owns a Bad Boy Diesel and after servicing his machine a few times he had told me of the hills he was on so I was in the development stages of the Ted Brake and I had met with Jim Harvey and Cliff Boylson uh, and they wanted a place. They were from the OPEI, I believe it is, association and they also do safety devices for zero turn mowers and they wanted to come see how effective the TED brakes were and after speaking to Mr. Anthony uh, we thought this might be a pretty good property. Uh, my service manager and I came over here realized what kind of a steep hill he was mowing with a ter with the lake at the bottom and just a terrible incline that doesn't give up until all the way at the bottom and this is just a textbook case where a lot of operators on zero turn mowers are killed. You came by yesterday, said you'd had a, a rough moment over here. Where did you slide just well, yesterday? Well, in this area back in here. Yeah. And anywhere. You know, if you, if you go to make a left hand turn sideways on that hill, it's bad. Yeah, and you got a lot of trees here which are gonna keep a lot of your areas wetter than others. And what's at the bottom of your property? It looks like just a big pond and it's a straight hill all the way in. Have you ever come close to going into the water? Absolutely. So. I come down that hill one time and, and I, I knew I was going in the water so I done decided that's the way it's gonna be. And so happened when I got to the bottom of the hill it was slow enough that I could turn away from it. But, so that's closer than you wanna be oh, to it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So. You need the break. It needs the brakes. So if you so, could buy a bad boy with brakes already on it, would you trade your mower? Absolutely. It'd be a I lot. I really don't want to go into next season without brakes. Well, we're going to get you a set of brakes, whether they come from bad boy or they come from us, but we're going to get you a set of brakes because he was nice enough to let us to come out and do some testing here. And uh, this is still probably one of the best properties I know of to be an example of what probably should not be mowed by a zero turn mower. Uh, with the steep hill and continuing all the way until you get to the water. So he was talking about being wet and a roll bar is what I put on his machine just in case that happened to save his life. But the, the best part about the brakes is you don't have to get wet and you don't have to, roll bar you should have it, but hopefully you never have to test it as long as you have the TED brake on your mower. So I think it was nice of you to let us come out here Mr. Anthony, and uh, we want to get you to where you can mow this safe, and we'll get you a set of brakes. And, and let me say that uh, that zero turns the only thing that'll mow these hills. Nothing, yeah, I've tried everything. I found one more mower that would mow, but not like the bad one. Well, and, and of course, you know what the professional mower is going to tell you is you should mow this or a professional mowing service should mow this with a walk behind so they, they can't get in a dangerous position like that. But at your age, if I gave you a walk behind, would you be interested in July and August at mowing this? And even though you know it's not safe, you're still willing to kind of take your life in your own hands to get it mowed to a certain degree just because I'm not going to get out here either with a walk behind. So, and, and, when, and you like mowing your own yard, and neither one of us want to pay what it would cost uh, for a professional mowing service every week. And a lot of people just get enjoyment of mowing their own yards. And as you can see, Mr. Mr. Anthony has a really nice place here, and he could certainly afford a uh, professional service if he wanted to. But he's chose to buy the Bad Boy Diesel, which will go up these hills. And now we just need to get him a good way to stop. And this is the bad boy diesel that he mows with. It's a 72 inch cut, four cylinder Caterpillar. It's one of the heaviest mowers on the market. So you can see when this gets rolling, he's got a lot of mass to get stopped. So if we could get you a new bad boy with brakes on it, you would trade machines, wouldn't you? Absolutely.
break the uh, front end swing down.